Hey y'all. Okay. So I'm going to share my process and just show you what naturally what this baby right here can do. Okay. This is my third time using it. The first time I used it, um, I YouTube some girl just, just tr trying to figure out what I was supposed to do and how you're even supposed to use it. Um, was not successful, got irritated and put it down. And then the second time I was like, okay, you bought this. It works for other people. It can work for you. You just got to figure it out. So, um, I watched a different girl and, um, a few minutes in of trying it, I actually like was insanely amazed. So that's why I want to do it to show you guys. Um, and because I do really love, um, this company. So to uh, vouch for that, um, it's L Lane, look, it's this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say that correctly. I've heard it a zillion different ways, but when I tell you that I really like that company and their products, I mean that, I mean, you can see I have <laughs> very thick, curly hair, thanks to my daddy. And, um, the types of products that I use, the types of hot tools actually make a difference on my hair. Um, I have had, I had a Conair hair dryer for years and then it was caught on fire. It was just like a basic one. It caught on fire at my apartment and I had to buy a hair dryer. So I had already bought their product one of their products, the straightener, um, because my chi had burnt up. Um, so I had bought the straightener first. That was my first experience with them and their products. Um, I had some products that came with it. Um, and I really loved the sea salt spray, the heat shield and like the oil that you can use on your hair. Um, so whenever my hair dryer burnt up, I bought their hair dryer. Once I used their hair dryer, I saw immediately the difference in my hair. And that is the moment I realized, okay, so, it is true when people say it matters what products you use on your hair, what tools you use on your hair, um, especially the heat tools when you have hair like mine. Um, so I do have, I'll show you really quick, the hair dryer and their straightener. Something I love about their straightener, um, especially for people who have hair like mine, is it has the temperature gauge on it. Um, I learned the hard way uh, because I think the Chi I had before just had like an on and off button. Um, and once I got this one, it goes all the way up to 450. So I just turned it all the way up. Um, well, it definitely uh, frizzled some of my baby baby hairs that are on my face. My hairdresser, when I went to my hairdresser, she, she was like, Jessica, what the heck did you do to your hair? And um, it was because I had fried some of those hairs because I had turned the volume up too much on this. But it goes to show like that, you know, we all thought Chi or we think Chi or whatever. I don't know what you think anymore. Um, but at one point, Chi was the brand. If you didn't have that, then you weren't really that cool. Um, but, you know, we thought that was such a great product, a great tool. And I'm sure they do have great tools but that was not great for me. So this one has been amazing. And now I'll get to show you this one. So um, I do use their heat shield. I've used this ever since I got the straightener first and I just spray it all over my hair. And this is pretty much the only thing I put in my hair before I do anything to it. Um, some other people might tell you differently. And I'm gonna need that big clip. So when you are using these hair dryer brushes, the there's a couple of tricks someone had messaged me and told me this um and i realized it the second time i did it but i let my hair air dry a little bit so i went ahead and did my makeup first and then i let my hair air dry um and then the second thing is especially if you have some thick hair like mine to section it off um i'm not gonna record myself the whole time like I am going to record it, but I'm going to break the video apart and speed up, speed up some of it. So you don't have to watch me the whole time. So I don't think that that's going to happen here. Um, but you will be able to see me just in fast motion. Um, okay. And the trick, once you start, is to just continually do that section of hair until it pretty much gets dry. And I want you guys to see just how amazing it ends up being. So I am gonna go ahead and tell you right now the time. It's 119. Um, so once I start, I'll let you know the time on my watch once I'm actually done.
My hair is naughty today. Now, I'm sure everybody has their way of doing it. This is mine because this is how the girl I watched did it, and it worked for her, and it worked for me. Okay, so as you can see, you guys like my hair, maybe I can find a picture to show you. My hair does not look like this when, when I blow dry it. Um, I also am not someone, I'm sure if I tried hard enough and tried multiple times, I could figure out how to use a brush and a blow dryer at the same time, but I've tried on my own and I'm not successful with it. Again, I think because I have so much freaking hair, but there's just a lot going on when you have two different things. Um, so I always, before this, <laughs> blow dried my hair and then use my straightener to do whatever, curl it, straighten it, whatever. Like I never have been someone who has been able to blow dry their hair and be done, which if you know what that's like, if that, if you are someone who's able to blow dry their hair and go on with your life, like you are a very blessed person. Okay. But this has been a life changer so far. Um, I'm going to, and I love that I only have to use one hot product. I don't have to use two. So. I am going to um, keep recording, but it'll speed up so that you can see that I'm actually not doing anything else to my hair. And then I'll come back and show you the final product. volume without the product um which I'm sure if you needed some you could add some in there for yourself um and then this is the oil that I mentioned that's theirs and I'm almost out of this so I need to grab some more um but I like this on my hair um especially since my hair is thick because it helps just kind of calm everything down like all the little frizzies and stuff that are going on but um yeah totally amazed. Um, 
I did have, so I will say, um, this is, I don't know which day. I just washed my hair, but I'm saying, I don't know how many days it's been since I've washed my, washed my hair. And I have like, it was very knotty. I did not catch that in the shower. So I was having, I was struggling to get the knots out on, with my regular brush. This, this one did, as I was doing my hair, get them out. But those areas are still kind of like thick, if that makes sense. Um, the first time that I did it, it was not um, like that. Um, it just came, went right on through it. Um, and I could keep doing a couple of different places to touch up, but I'm getting ready to hop on a, uh, co a live video I have to do for our coach sneak peek. So, um, I have the products linked below if you would like to try them out or look for yourself. Um, this is the larger barrel one, obviously because of my hair being a little bit thicker. Look at that little hair right there. Um, but again, it's amazing. And oh, I forgot to tell you. So I started it at 119, so we'll just round up to 120. And I just got done at 145. So 25 minutes for all of this, whereas it used to take me 25 minutes to blow my hair. To blow <laughs> it used to take me 25 minutes to blow dry my hair. Like, yeah, this area right here, I definitely need to go over again. But like I said, I don't have a few extra minutes at the moment. Okay, so yeah, 25 minutes to blow dry my actual hair. And then I would either straighten or curl it. I still do use my straightener for curling my hair. Um, and when I, because this is my third time using the brush. When I used it the second time, the next morning, I did not have to wake up and straighten my hair again <laughs> or straighten my hair. And I did not have to use the brush to um, do anything to it. It was like already very calm and silky and all the things. So I don't even know how the back looks because I wasn't looking myself, but there you have it. If you have questions, let me know.